All right. Well, since I'm waiting on the front U joints for the Articat, I can't really go no farther without the waiting on the U joints and the new brakes pads for it. So, I figured I'd do a quick little review here. Um, I actually got this winch on a four-wheeler that I do not own no more, but the neighbor said it still does good. Um, so anyway, with the coupon and everything, ended up giving a hundred dollars for this winch, I think is what it was. And it's kind of a little unboxing video. So, comes with instructions and stuff like that, of course. Which, that's nice. Uh, this is the wiring harness piece that you can run up to the handlebar. It's got a plug-in style. Let it focus, sorry. Plug-in style that you can drill a hole and mount with two screws somewhere it just plugs in see like that and then take that little paper and check the plastic it's got an in and out I mean it feels pretty Pretty well made for the most part. Comes with all the cord to wire it up and stuff to send power up to it. Comes with a winch plate. Universal, I guess is what you'd call that. It also comes with a nice fair lead. The only problem I ever had out of the fair lead that it come with originally when I put it on my Honda is the bolt kept coming loose right there and there up here and on the other side. The bolt kept coming loose so I had to put Loctite on the bolt. Then didn't have no more problems out of it. Comes with the hook for the winch cable. Comes with nuts and bolts, or I'm sorry, washers, and yeah, it's got nuts in there too. All the mounting hardware. It comes with the strap that goes on the end of the tow hook to hang down. That's in the first layer. Comes with power wires. Illinois block it's already got the ends made on it which is pretty nice oh well heck I didn't even know that it also comes okay so instead of let me check this other one I don't know exactly. That must be the ground. Yeah. Okay. So, instead of like the the old style I had, they didn't have the wire remote. So this one comes with a mount. I'll open it and show you. Give me a second. This one comes with a handlebar mount to where you can mount a switch solid on it. I really like that. That's nice. Because, I mean, you're not always want to be messing with that wireless remote. Because it was, to be honest, it was a pain in the butt whenever you was plowing snow with it. Because trying to press on the on button, lower the winch, raise the winch, lower the winch, raise the winch. It was always a pain in the butt. So that's nice they got that in there. So you got this switch plus... You got this one now too. 
I guess, to get off the four-wheeler because it's got a pretty long cord on it there. So it's your option, I'm guessing. Well, that's, that's nice. They're giving you options now. And then... Uh, is that everything? I don't know what this is. Let's open it here and see. Oh! Your solenoid box. So I'm assuming that you can wire up it two different ways, maybe? So if you had the foiler laying over or you're trying to winch over something and you don't want to be on the foiler at the time, you can run the remote or you can have the handlebar switch. And that looks like a pretty good little made unit there. Sorry about the reflection off the lights there. Pretty nice. So, got the solenoid. And the sucker's heavy. Slide that back out of the way. So, okay, so this is made exactly like my old one was with the release. Let me get on the side so you can see it better. With the release and stuff. I like that they made this switch bigger because on the older one I had from three years ago on my Honda, it was a little tiny one and it was always hard to get in here to twist it. But yeah, I definitely think this will pull anything I need to pull out. <laughs> it's got good solid mounting. Well, that's nice. Is that threaded? It is threaded. You notice that? It's a little off. Is it because the way it's sitting? Oh, yeah. Okay, so them nuts move around in there a little bit. So... It's got threaded holes on it here, so I'm not sure exactly. Okay, so this fuller comes with this hole here. Let me get to a better angle. Comes with this hole here and this hole here, and they're already threaded, and that looks about the same thread pitch as what I got there. And is that? No, they're straight through. Sweet. So I can bolt this straight down to the frame then. That's nice. Alright. Well. In case you was wondering what comes in the new Harbor Freight. Badland winch is there. That's what, it, that's what it consists of. I mean that's a nice little kit there. So uh. I'll be getting this wired up and stuff, and uh, I'll show you a video of when I put it on the foiler. I just wanted to unbox it for y'all so you can see what it comes with. Because this is a lot different than three year ago winch, Badland, with the wireless remote. Which is good when you was off the foiler, but it kind of sucked when you was on it. But anyway, so that's nice. It comes with two remotes and the fair leads, and then it's got, kit's got a lot more stuff in it. All right, well, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and a wonderful night. And like I said, this is Adam. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, and like and subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless. Bye.